In the quiet solitude of nature, embraced by an expansive garden and intertwining rivers, stands this Sular, a majestic traditional Portuguese manor, once pulsating with the art of winemaking. Its isolation from nearby settlements intensifies its serene aura, imbuing the air with whispers of its rich past. The manor was once the heart of a wine farming family, contributing modestly to the local viticulture. The household was steered by the esteemed Joaquira Dileros, whose successful factory ventures bestowed upon him enough affluence to construct this architectural marvel. Within its walls the house guards stories of generations past. Portraits of ancestors gaze silently from ornate frames. Their unspoken tales bound in time-worn letters, scattered across antique desks of exquisite workmanship. Their devout Christianity echoes in every corner adding a sacred touch to the dwelling. Now, the manor yields to nature's persistent pool. Dry leaves scatter across the gallery and vines creep up through the windows, mirroring the family tree's branching lineage. Since 2010, the mansion has weathered a decade of solitude after the demise of its last inheritor, Francisco. Left alone, the grand solar stands, a monument slowly being reclaimed by nature. So we just made it to the second location of the day. Unfortunately, the first location did not work out, but we're gonna explore a beautiful, beautiful time capsule home. Um, actually, again, a solar, like they would call it in Portugal. Uh, so like a very old farmhouse with a lot of history. We already checked it out last night and made some pictures. And uh, it's honestly an amazing place with beautiful decay and history. So yeah, let's go to it right now. All right, so. Welcome again. As you just saw, Moreno shot the intro with the GoPro. Currently having it uh, on my chest. But well, yeah. Thing uh, we are actually going to do is going inside of this abandoned place. Uh, For sure, bro. Yeah, I'm really yeah, excited yeah. to explore this place. And the nature is so beautiful in this part of Portugal. Yeah, true, man. Trees, greenery everywhere. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful place, actually. Yeah, it's really scenic. Also, the views from the abandoned mansion itself are stunning. Yeah, they are. They it's are. overlooking a mountain valley. That's truly amazing. And, and it's actually not that difficult to get inside the garden. No, no, no. So yeah, I mean, we decided to just film this with the big camera of us entering this place. It's normally footage that you 
never see, you know. So uh, yeah, we don't always film how we get inside those places, but I think it's pretty hard for someone to recognize where we are walking right now. Yeah, true. true. Since it's literally just only a road and trees surrounding us. <laughs> It really does feel like we're in the middle of nowhere, right? For sure. Yeah. Actually, the only thing is, is, um, yeah, as you can tell, the cars that are pressing. Yeah. Because normally in Portugal, they never ever see a guy with a <laughs> GoPro on his. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So sorry well, for my language, but... What about the GoPro, bro? Like, what about the big camera? What about the big camera, like... man? All right. What would be over here? Is this a mountain trail? Hmm. 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 We are just some... Some, some tourists. Uh, tourists. Uh, just looking, sir. Just looking. Actually used to be the shed. One of the sheds. There are several outbuildings. The garden is pretty big. Yeah. The garden is pretty overgrown, man. You can tell that cars don't drive oftenly over here, actually. But... I mean, don't drive oftenly? Let's say, like, no single car has driven here for years. No, man. There is no tracks, nothing anymore. But this used to be one of the driveways. One They've got another one on the other side with the main gate. But of course, we're sneaking in through the back. <laughs> what is this jacket doing here? Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue what it's doing over here. But it's been laying here for a long time, actually. Wow. It's actually the first time we're seeing this place now with proper sunlight and yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, because actually we were here yesterday. We just took some pictures. And what the fascinating thing about this place is that you can see that it's just closed down properly. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is still like... Um, over there, basically, completely concrete build it to close it up, but... Also palm trees over here and everything. And they failed, man. Maybe, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a quick walk around just in the garden. And we're just gonna leave the stuff over here. Yeah, yeah sounds man. cool. All right. I think it's pretty cool to show the outside of this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have a look. So this is a part of the home, yeah, but I believe that this is the shed, right? A shed or a second home? Let's find out. Right. They have the good footage of you right now filming these places. Oh, this is the actual home, yeah. Yeah, this is the actual so home. So this is the shed. It's the first time we're coming from this side. Yep. Well. This is the actual hole. Yeah, because I already see some big wine barrels there too. All right, watch out. Oh, yeah, you better watch a step over here. Oh. oh, look. I don't know if the viewers can see it, but down there, that's not good. I think if you set one step inside of this place, it will probably Collapse. level. Yeah, and the only thing that we can actually see is just bottles. Just simple bottles, man. Leave down in the comments <laughs> if we need to do this more often, like filming this way. Me with the GoPro yeah. on my chest. You know, like it's really cool to do it, but sometimes it's just not possible because you take so much attention with the big camera, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was in the city center. But this place is so secluded. Have you seen the jeans? <laughs> it's so strange, like yeah, we already found the jackets. Now they're just random 
jeans hanging on a tree branch. A lot of wood storage over here. Well. Yeah, this is also a shed. Yes. Just a shed. Bro, I mean, those wine barrels are huge. Yeah, man. They are freaking huge. All right. What to see, what to see. Secret wine storage. Right over here. It's actually a huge storage of wine barrels. Can you see it? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, man. Is there more around the corner? I'm actually not sure. Well, there's a concrete wall. Maybe we can open the other door. Wait. Let's see if I can. No, this is the brightest. It's quite cool to see the old carriage over here too. Imagine they used to carry those heavy barrels probably with, with those wheels. I don't think this one was actually horse drawn, but I think they really like lifted this themselves, you know, yeah. like manpower. Like manpower, yeah. Damn, bro. For you. There? Coat webs. Cop oh. webs, yeah. A <laughs> lot, yeah. Probably not many explorers actually are interested in this, but for us it's really cool to see it because well, this is just part of storage, the old man. culture, you know, the viticulture and Porto, the port wines. Well, you can tell. The vino tinto. It's just wood storage. Yeah. And mosquitoes. Uh, that's one thing I definitely dislike. <laughs> dislike about these countries, yeah. Well, yeah, they like to be in cold and humid places, especially during those sunshiny conditions. But can you just imagine the fact that they really tried to shut down this place like that heavily? I mean, for the house, yes, but for the shed, I don't know. No, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm happy that they did it for the house though, because it might be one of the reasons it's actually incredibly well preserved. Pretty cool for the people now, so they can also see what happens behind the camera, you know? Yeah, exactly. Let's just do one Quick. little uh, Tour, square huh? around the beautiful building. Yep, and then we uh, walk up and explore this place. What you see a lot in South Europe is fortification of the structures. Yeah, yeah. A lot of bars, which always makes it quite difficult to get inside. Definitely is quite difficult there, man. It's often it requires a climb. Yep, often it requires a climb. Well, do we have footage of that? I think we do. As you can tell, right over there, going down to a garden part. Have a look at this. Completely overgrown trail over here, <coughs> leading all the way down the garden. It's a massive property, honestly. Yeah, it is. All right. I also really like the balconies of this place. Yeah, man. You can see some vines and ivy that's actually covering the facade. Oh, and this was the the inner courtyard once. Yeah, this was actually the main gate as well, right over there. There was a little, very narrow street that's leading to this place. Got the front courtyard, little sink. Are. There was still some natural mineral water dripping from down the mountain. As you can see, that's natural water, man. It's quite clean, actually. Really wash off my hands with that. Nice. You can see over here used to be probably the main door, and they also completely uh, bricked it. 
it. But luckily for us, there is a window open and we're definitely gonna make use of that, right? Yeah, man. Otherwise, so, yeah. Uh, there is no single possibility to go inside of this place. So uh, let's head inside this place right now and be amazed by it's stunning. the garden gates to a magical portal. <laughs> Actually stuck over here with the tripod. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Honestly, bro, this looks enchanting on camera. Like, beautiful. it's beautiful in real life, but the camera is really doing the justice too. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Then, uh, let's just continue and go right in, man. We literally found the window open last night, so we decided to leave it like that for now. So nobody will notice that we've been, but after that, we're gonna close this place properly, just lock the window and help to preserve this place. Right. Also look at this aware. I think there used to be like some kind of religious statue maybe. Could be. Right. Always with the big backpack, huh? Yeah, always. It's dark, but that's that's your home. Right, so this is the room that we just entered, and you can definitely tell that it's uh, formidable. Actually, in French, we say formidable, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful room. And what I really do like is the fact that we have this golden mirror again. And talking about the mirror, look down underneath it. This is one of the most beautiful southern European benches I've ever seen, bro. Yeah, you, you were completely fascinated about this one. Yeah, I really, really like it. Its carvings are so unique. I need to say, um, I'm not that amazed, but it depends. It's just so different from what we have in Central Europe. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely amazed. Yeah. Definitely amazed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks very, very comfortable. Yeah, it's very comfortable, man. It's very <laughs> comfortable. Well, and as you, by the way, are seeing, I'm also wearing the GoPro on my chest. So uh, we're going to film two perspectives today. So, yeah, uh, let's see how it works out. And yeah. Uh, yeah, just leave your opinion in the comment section. Hopefully, we can uh, do this maybe the entire Portugal trip. Well, and then uh, we have again a beautiful golden. Wow. Painting. This is incredible. I think it's a family ancestor. Must be. Wow. Look at the decay as well. In a beautiful gilded frame. Definitely one of the family ancestors. This woman once lived here. Yep. For sure. This is a house that was passed on from centuries. And centuries, yeah. Yeah, from generation to generation. It's unbelievable, man. But I'm really questioning myself, like it was locked so properly, but now they just don't care anymore. At least nobody's watching it because the windows were just open. Yeah. Well, look. What's that? It's a Jesus statue. It was once. Oh no, it's, it's d two different statues, never mind. It absolutely doesn't fit over here. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got some Bible verses over here. All right. Wow, another beautiful old picture. Actually made in Porto by a photographer. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. Wondering what the name was of the people that lived there. 
maybe we will find out about something. Hopefully. I think we will definitely find something since there is a lot in this place. I think All it's right. a dead note, right? Yeah, it's a dead note. Um, Carlos. It's actually locked. Yeah, it's probably locked. Oh, oh there's a lot of letters over here. Well, these are uh, again the dead notes that we just found. This is about the factory. 1845, it's saying over here. Well, there was a factory outside, actually. It could be that it's about that factory, man. Maybe a person used to own it or work there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cola branch. Oh, that's uh, second glue. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, just some other small belongings. Well, we have this proper old television over here. Oh yeah, very tiny one. It's pretty cute. Yeah. It's looking actually, uh, what is it? What so many switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the days, you didn't have all those functions on the remote control, so you need to do everything by the buttons on the television itself. And then the cable, man. Yeah. You had to uh, find for some good connection. Little antenna. Look at this over here. Different volumes of the Bible? Christian book. Of Christian book. Anno Christia. Wow. What year are they actually from? It usually says on the first page inside. Or the second one. <laughs> or the second one. Wait, well, let's find out. It's volume 14. Mm -hmm. Porto. Wow, it's no. so beautiful. It's Thanks actually it. a different one from for each month. Mm -hmm. October, November. Oh, look at this tiny thing over here. Bro, this is from 1887. Yeah, this is really traveling back in time, man. 50th it's anniversary da Funda, actually from a monastery. I'm really curious on when this place got abandoned. This like. is so precious. That's a wonderful artifact. <laughs> Actually a Lego. Yeah. Why? Well, there's nothing inside of here. Well, back in the days, people also like to play with Lego. Yeah, true that, man, true that. I mean, Lego exists for a very long time already. All right, well, let's head let's in the corridor. Continue, man. <coughs> oh, all right. So we have a, a single one over here. Let's have a look. Single bedroom. Oh yeah. Just one single person bed. There is a lot of old photos over here on the vanity. This looks like a um, class picture. Well, it's actually from the war, I think. Because they're all wearing costumes. Maybe, yeah. Uh, they're actually uh, also holding a flag with a symbol. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's from 1935, 4th of August. Liberal. Could be. <coughs> oh, I haven't seen all the other pictures yet, indeed. Wow. <coughs> We're definitely going to find some names on those receipts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well. Well, uh, let's see what the... It's from 1961. And we have Father Jack Carlos. Well, actually, that's also the exact same name on the dead note. So okay. the man passed away. So he was probably the owner. And I do think this is him or that is him. Well, it's, it's the same. Yeah, this is him. This is him, man. Wow. So that's the man that once owned this place. I think he was maybe a priest or something. Could be, because the place is like, it's, it's very royal, I don't know. I get the feeling that it's very this, exclusive. This is something about geological seminary, where he went to. 
music notes. I see all the music instruments. A lot of music indeed. Wow. This is from a bygone era. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is far, far, far gone, man. I mean, have a look at the map. I'm really curious on how it looks. This is about the Spanigan Peninsula. A Porto. A Portugal. This is still so well preserved, like all those photos. It's absolutely incredible. So oh, many letters. Personal letters, man. Receipts. I wasn't actually thinking that we would find them right over here. This was a little razor. Yeah. Razor blade. Razor blade. Too much personal information, bro. 1896 over here. That's proper old. I do think that this man was like the, the oldest owner of this house. And I still do think that he has to do something with the factory. Are those spots for medicine? Yep. From From laboratory. Laboratory. Yep. Blah, looks disgusting. The inside. But yeah, they are from medicines, man. All right, so we have some old pictures over here. It's not your house, actually. Is it not a place? I believe this might be the home, bro. Oh yeah, that might be true. Yeah, and I do think that's the that's the priest of the, of the place, man. Whoa. Like the priest of the town. This might be the home. Damn, these are some old pictures. It's got even some... Uh, um, negatives. Negatives, yeah. It's not the house. No, it's not. I think they moved over here, actually. Maybe this this was their, like, their first house. Because this is absolutely not the house, man. <laughs> so many photos, bro. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, truly. That's just all these personal belongings left there, and they are well preserved for a very long time. <coughs> I just simply don't get it. I mean, you know what I don't get is the fact that inside of this place it has been preserved for so long, yet they didn't hardly try this to shut the, the house. windows. Yeah, it is the house. Man. Look. Yeah, it is. It is the house back in its heyday. The garden is, is there like a date on it no only a number 33 this is the region well oh i broke the glasses there's also a name elisa over here she also has a has other senora name. senora senora elisa so maybe well, that was the woman that was the woman then Oh bro, let's uh, put everything back, yeah. Yeah, everything back in place the way we found it. Well, and then of course we have the bed. It's just a simple bed. Holy Mary, Mary over there. Or Holy Mary over there, indeed. Marble table. That's uh, very unique. Look at the way that vines are just creeping in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like. Just the imagination that this place is really being overtaken by nature, even though the fact that they really did their best to keep it close and secluded. You know what I'm asking myself, like for how long has this place been abandoned? For quite a while. Because I don't have a clue. I really think like in the 1960s or something. I think not for that long, but definitely at least two decades, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, I don't think we can actually walk here, but let's just take a quick peek. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> it's actually really nice. Attic? Yeah, and, but there's also bedrooms.
Well, as you can tell, some storage, right? Yeah. Well, I'm actually curious. Look, this oh. used to be a bat room. Yeah, it's a big mess. Some books over here on the ground again. Filming that with the GoPro. And there we have Moreno. What do you see, man? Bathrooms over here? Jesus Christ. Again, all the religious artifacts. Well, should you go down there? What is over no, there? Just filming it. There's a few bottles where they used to put wine in. So the rest is just space underneath the roof. Nothing very special. Have a look at this chest, though. Well, blankets, yeah. as always. <laughs> Never will we ever find gold, man, unfortunately. Bro, I actually found gold, but it was like fake gold in Turkey. Okay. <laughs> in the park. Okay, okay, okay. We opened this chest and it was like fake gold inside, you know, and it was like, damn, this is the day I found it and Raymond is not with me. <laughs> sad, sad, bro. But it was fake, so I don't care. There will be a day. There will be a day, believe me. Maybe if we go and explore an abandoned pirate ship in the ocean, then... <laughs> that would honestly be epic. Yeah. Well, continuing away, man. All right. We have the rest of the corridor. Very traditional Portuguese place because you can clearly see all the woodwork. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The ceilings, the doors, the doorposts. What is that? It's actually uh, about the local uh, fiesta-like parties that were going on in 1971. 1971, bro. In so. this village, so yeah, we will have to blur some things out. But uh, that's really cool. It's cool and long ago. Really long ago, man. Yeah, so maybe around 71. 71 is a This place was a Could be, could be. Well, this is a bottle of uh, mine, I'm sorry. <laughs> Statue. Whoa, all the cobwebs over here. It's actually just a little toilet area, yeah. nothing more. Some more paperwork on the ground. What is we it? We have a name Francisco over here. I believe it's actually the address from here. So I think he might be the last owner. There is a date, 1996. Oh, okay. It's okay. actually an uh, electricity, like energy uh, bill. Normally the energy bills really come in like on paperwork when people are definitely passing away, you know? Yeah, so I think it was the late 90s, this place. Got I've seen life ever since. Yep. A lot of electricity bills, all dating from 95, 96. So probably in the late 90s. Yeah. All right. Well, well, over here. You can walk in front of me, but uh, we do have another uh, bedroom. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Just... Uh, it's actually a, a French type of bed. It's like a sleigh bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And also the marble table, man. Damn, it's, I always find them so unique. I don't know what I have with marble, but... The marble in just my head is like, that's expensive. I think it's beautiful in combination with the wood, you know? Yeah, yeah, Marble yeah, yeah. and wood. And look, it's a beautiful picture. It's a, oh, it's a wedding picture. And a wedding, yeah. Would this be theirs? I think so. Wow, that's precious. Seeing the couple in love. Sadly enough, this place is not seeing any love anymore. Nope. Sadly enough, man. And it's left to the fate of nature. You can clearly tell the decay on the bed sheets as well. Sadly enough, man. Whoa, bro. Damn. Their clothes are even still hanging inside. Jeans, clothes. This place is, place it actually just... looks like a combination of man's and woman's clothes. Yeah, they are. They are. So maybe they passed away around the same time. Maybe one of them passed away and they couldn't get rid of the clothes because 
it was holding a lot of emotional value, you know? Sometimes that's definitely the story. I mean, some people just can't throw things away from their partners, like which they once loved. Honestly, like, I also got some clothes that I feel like have a sentimental value because I experienced something in this these clothes mm -hmm. and I just can't r get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I, I, I get what you mean. I get exactly yeah. what you mean. Well, do you think it's time to show the beautiful part or...? Yeah, let's show this part. Guys, we're about to enter a dining room, frozen in time. Have a look at this. Wow. And actually right next to me there is a huge cobweb. Just from the table all the way going inside the corner. Unbelievable, right? And we don't want to destroy it. I'm actually going right underneath it there, I think. Maybe you can see this on the cam, but... <laughs> Have a look at this wonderful upholstery chair. Wow, looks like a knight. Wow, look. Remember that we never see this in France and stuff? The yeah. box hanging on those little hooks? First time we ever saw it was in Portugal, man. Yeah. And then we asked Danny, like, why is it like that? Then he just kindly responded, like, yeah, we, we do that here in Portugal. <laughs> yeah, it's a Portuguese custom. Yep. <clears throat> all right. Tighten it up as you can see all the holes inside. Yeah, it's all wood warm. So, not much to see, actually. Nope. They're pretty empty. Yeah. As you can tell, they took the important belongings. But I don't get why they didn't take the family pictures, man. Honestly, sad. I don't know. It's sad, man. I do think that's quite sad. It is sad. It's their family history. I'm sure they were still next of kin that are still alive. It's again. Arriba, Jesus. Something, uh, oh, look, oh, where we have the name again. It's actually a different, it's the same name, but you didn't pronounce it right. It's actually Jaquira, Joaquira, 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 okay, Dileros, Joaquira, Dileros. So, I do think that was a priest living over here, then Estima, yeah, he what was, was that? that, he was a priest, okay. They, this is actually like. Kind of an award to thank him for his services. <clears throat> Towards Jesus. Yeah, serving the Lord in the name of Christ. It's beautiful to see, man. It is truly beautiful to see. This man was a very well-respected mm -hmm. man in his time. Well, Joaquira. And then uh, we have this beautiful part. Honestly, this is really traveling back in time. Man. Oh, it is truly is. It's all full of dust. No, guys, we don't throw flour over the items inside to make it look more dusty, if you thought that. No, man. <laughs> Bro, did you actually read that comment? Yeah, I, I saw it in your, in your uh, <laughs> post. <laughs> you reposted it. I was, crazy, I was really bro. thinking, like, bro, people are... Im, 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 imagine that you would... It would be hard and to get in some places. And then yeah. imagine you walking with a pack of flour. <laughs> bro. I honestly really cannot even understand how somebody can actually make up his mind like that. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Just just let him be. I mean, uh, like everybody, everybody, their thoughts, right? Yeah, man. Would this actually be a clog inside? Exactly. I think yeah. there was a clog inside. There was inside. a clog inside, yeah. Very different mm. clog holder like cover from other ones that I've seen before. And look at the chairs over here. They've got the same emblem, but over here is actually on the setting part. A little pocket heater. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just so careful, man, because I don't want to touch this. Yeah, we don't want to destroy the cobwebs, because it's really frozen in time. Just some salt and pepper there. Let's just walk over there and then... Uh, yeah, let's walk around. You know what I think is quite funny, this. 
Oh, some nuts. Yeah, man, on the table. Yeah, you can just see the string of the cobweb going just right through the cabinet. Politely walking around it. You That's as well. we as explorers, like, we even want to respect this because other people want to see it too and it's just so beautiful to see that passage of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's beautiful for the picture. This is something you can definitely not set up. No, for sure. And well, maybe with some cotton candy. Let's uh, try it. Flour. <laughs> we, and maybe make it even dustier with some uh, flour. I mean. <laughs> well, bro, let's check out what's oh, inside oh, yeah, here. Yeah. I even forgot that. You're ahead of things. Yeah, yeah. Just too excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this room because I really like that room. This was actually an antique convent. What, what is this? Convent. Convent was like... Uh, religious place like a monastery where they went okay okay very old they took all their cavalry actually hmm what is in here ah it's i need a key for that i think yeah i do need a key for that this one too yeah man well more than last thing last what is over here the diploma, diploma. the um, the um, missile Admission. Administration, right? I think it's diploma for admission to something. But to what? Has been admitted to Pia Unia de Filas de Maria, yeah, from like a church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he did service. Okay. Yeah. Very religious, man. Unbelievable. Well, then, we're about to enter the Maybe. magical living room. Also look to the ceiling, very, very Portuguese. We've seen ceilings like this multiple times before. Portugal's the only country where you see them like this. I really do like this room, man. I don't know, it, it, it's, it's definitely due to the ceiling, actually. Wow, and I love this old photo. Yeah, it's very chic. Actually, the head that you just found was probably from this statue. From that statue, yeah. So it was the Jesus statue. All right, what is in here? The wooden stick. This is actually history, cultural history of the village we are currently in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just blankets, sheets again. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually an old photo, I believe. Yeah. It's odd. It's broken. Broken in two pieces, yeah. Old photo. Again, the man with the mustache. <laughs> All right, man. Last but not least, Christmas decoration. Party decoration! Thank let's you. build a party, man! Yeah, man, let's, let's hang this place up in Christmas decorations. Uh, let's burst some live in this place again. We could do that. <laughs> let's hang out the decoration, bro. Get a nice bottle of Porto and say salute with the viewers. <laughs> Actually, bro, close those doors for a second. Yeah, they this are. This is gorgeous. There they are, are windows gorgeous, inside, yeah? too. Oh, they are heavy. They are heavy, bro. Yeah, of course. Massive iron. Well, and it's stuck somewhere. Wait a sec. No, I do think... I think it's the stone, honestly. Yeah, man, it's the stone. But I mean, like, does, does stone change? Let's leave it, but it is really beautiful. Yeah. Damn, this is heavy, man. Yeah. I never felt such a heavy door, honestly. Then you know they're really antique. Yeah. Well, well we, have we have the bottles bottle here. Of <laughs> a bottle of port. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, guys, it's not. Is that I'm not that crazy as a fellow explorer super sus because he would just drink this yeah, true, stuff true, like true. straight right now. I mean, can you even call it a fellow explorer? That guy is just crazy. <laughs> 
He's crazy. Let's say he's a different type of exploration. Yeah, man. Another uh, picture. This old woman. Wow. And we have the beautiful mosaic glass. It's Lucian. actually like, it's not really mosaic, but it's like um, just colored glass, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mosaic is like tiles. And then we have stained glass and we have colored glass. Okay, okay, okay. Difference then. And what do we have over here? The last evening meal, man. The last supper. I look on the ground, it's so sad. This actually shouldn't be laying on the ground. It's way too beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put it over there. Can you hang it? Of course I can. <laughs> that looks good, man. <laughs> that definitely looks good. And oh, then, uh, look at this, a fan. The fan, yeah. For the furnace over here. Well, furnace. The fireplace. Fireplace, I'm sorry. Why did I say furnace? Ah, don't worry, man. Don't <laughs> worry. You're getting back to it, bro. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's only the second exploration. I mean, it's been a long time since I spoke some English. Uh, yeah, and people can definitely understand it. Mm -hmm. We're not natives, you know? No, 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 no. Sometimes people do think that, but... Look at this. Those are like roots. Well, I also saw them in the other room, actually. Wow. That's crazy. Another old photo. And another one. It's completely vanished. Porto. Well, then let's take a look from the balcony up here. It's a beautiful view, man. It truly is. Beautiful day, beautiful view. Just imagine for a second waking up here. Just imagine living And here. seeing this around you. Nothing but pure serenity. I mean, looking at you taking, taking a shot right now. And then you have me. And then you have us. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is amazing. And it's good weather, actually. It's a beautiful day. Perfect time of the year to explore Portugal, yeah. bro. Yeah, 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 it's the beginning, beginning of summer. Like, uh, we just uh, went into summertime. Spring, yeah. Yep. Spring times right now. Spring times, so... Uh, perfect. Muy All right. perfecto. Muy perfecto. Let's continue, man. So then, we're going to go back to the corner part over here to explore some of the very last rooms Inside of this place, this place, full of history. Well, and over here you can just tell it. Definitely been some trash rolling, man. Yeah, this is some vandalism for sure. Well, I'm not quite sure actually, man. I, I do I, think so. I like, do think vandalism, but at the other, other part, I do think that they really try to take everything out and they just place everything inside of this room and we're like, all right, we have everything valuable. Now let's just leave it. Yeah. Well, for me, the most incredible feature in this room is this aware. You can tell the importance of religion <coughs> mm -hmm. for this priest. Look, this is all painted, guys. All painted. I've never seen something like this. I think it's a unique piece made for him. What do you think? It's a beautiful piece. I've never seen something like this before, man. Completely carved in wood, huh? Like painted on wood. Yeah, I think it's a one of a kind. Yeah. I do think if you really preserve this, then definitely worth some money. Oh yeah. You know, what is quite strange is these shoes over here. They're from a, from a little girl, or at least from a woman. Yeah, I think from a child. So, he had children, but it was a priest. Hmm. I don't Could know. Could be. Could be. Well, then you're about to see one of the most traditional kitchens in Portugal I've ever seen, guys. Yeah. You will be amazed wow. about this one. All the tiles, 
over there. They would put all the plates, the bowls. It's very beautiful, man. Like so traditional. Old stove. And the face, right? Little table over here. Some plates. Plates indeed. The <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, what they used to wear in the kitchen, yeah, right? Yeah, kitchen yeah, shorts. Yeah. Kitchen shorts, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I never found them in the place. Not I, like I'm this. telling you, bro, this kitchen is completely preserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can tell over this here. This even looks hand painted. Oh, maybe. If we look at these, we can find the date again. Expiration date. Date of expiry here. Here, man. Here. No? No, 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 it's here. 2003. Yeah, so we were right. Yep, around. Turn of the millennium. Yep. <coughs> yeah, and then this one, man. This is what you were talking about, right? Yeah, this was like a fountain, bro. So unique. This is so mythical almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This looks Crazy. like uh, if we turn the head, like for something, we go into there side of the secret, secret room, yeah. secret dungeon. Uh, Some Indiana Jones stuff. Of yeah, time. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow, plates, everything still standing here in the racks. And also these, man. I mean, they're from plastic, but still traditional. I think some windmills. <coughs> we think of uh, the Netherlands. Could be Holland, yeah. Hollanda. All stone. Chicken uh, geese, right? Oven dishes. And then my dad would definitely love this. Wow. The bear glass, but bro, look at the oven, man. Funicidat is actually from, from a local. Yeah, it's from a local uh, local factory where it was manufactured. Jose de Maris. That's incredible. Oh! Basement? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro, there is a basement. Let's like, head down. All right, yeah. yeah you, I, you I think it's the barn part, actually. You need to go first because I can see anything. It's <laughs> dark basement, here we go. It's definitely the barn part, I think. <laughs> It's gonna be pretty big as well. There was a huge fall, bro. Damn. Yeah, this is uh, what we all couldn't access from the downstairs. I just like the fact that the locks and everything on these doors, they look proper new, but yeah, this looks relatively new. So I think there is definitely somebody that comes to like take a look here from time to time. Well, no, it's already rusting, man. Boy, you can immediately feel the breeze. <laughs> look at this fall. Incredible, man. It's an incredible piece. Unbelievable. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Why are there stones inside, actually? You saw that? Yeah, I don't know. Strange. You know what is also strange? What? 2010. Damn. On the calendar over here. You would not say that 2010, right? I think, the, I think the living part has been abandoned around 2002. Yeah, because that yeah, was the yeah. last food product, you know? You're not keeping a food product like for 10 years. Damn. Whoa. What is that? They made their own wine. Vino Tinto. They made their own wine. And this is so well preserved. Very cool, man. It's it is very really cool. Imagine 
wine being made here. I do think that the wine was being made until 2010. I think that's the reason why. And maybe after that they just shut down. And that's why it's also like completely uh, hidden, you know? The like crates with, with all the wine bottles of them are also still here. Yeah. Those are the bottles they used. Hasn't been labeled. But maybe we will find a label somewhere. Well, Mo, let's have a look in here. Huge tanks. Yep. I do think there was definitely uh, wine uh, in here. There's a lot of caskets. Oh yeah. What a chaos here. Yeah man. Like complete chaos, right? Well, and this was mostly stuff used for farming and gardening. Because for such a huge garden, you definitely need some water hoses. Damn bro, they really, they really made wine over here. I don't think that was actually a company, man. So, a priest? Maybe in his spare time. Yeah, it was definitely not on the big scale though. They only had one machine, but definitely made some local wine. I think many really traditional people actually used to do that back in the day. Yeah. Especially yeah. when they were like more generous, like the man owning this place. Well-respected man, dignified man. And then the big silos, man. Yeah, there's another tank. Very cool. Two more modern ones over here. So yeah, I think you're right about 2010 being the last time ever somebody set food inside this basement yep. to come inside and produce some wine. Incredible, man. <laughs> Happy I, that we could actually access this access basement. Access this basement, yeah. Total surprise. We yeah. didn't know this was here. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And voila. Yeah. No label anymore though, but wine is still inside. I actually really want to drink this bottle, man. If we find an opener, then we can open this up. Like we never take something, but honestly, there are a lot of wine bottles in this place. Bro, I don't, uh, nah. It's Just from look. 2010. Bro, look. Okay, wait. Look at the juice. You see that? Oh, that ain't no good. That's not good. <laughs> that ain't no good, no. <laughs> no, okay, let's leave it. <laughs> that ain't no good. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about the fact that they say sometimes the older wine gets, the tastier and the better. But it needs to be wine. also preserved in the perfect conditions, you exactly. know? Exactly. Wine needs to be preserved and made in that way that it can be preserved for such a long time yeah and these i mean yeah, these are empty bottles but the, this is not wine that was definitely made in that way so you mainly find in france in france they have their ways so we'll pop a bottle one day we've never did it honestly no, but one day we will definitely do it man <laughs> i mean i can only remember uh, us finding the bottles of vodka and we n even never tried that no nah. but nothing can happen with that you can even drink that like 100 years yeah later. it's this still so yeah but never did never did man one day one day one day all right well then uh, let's uh had to the final part of this place, man. Of course, we got an Eden in style. We've got an incredible gallery over here. Incredible gallery, they brick the wall like you can see. And check this out. All the sunlight beautifully falling inside. And this is what we meant with proper clothes, like with cement and yeah, they Crazy. really tried their best. Yeah, man. Now nobody cares anymore. Maybe like even that owner passed away. Beautiful pictures. Again of the man. That plants. 
I really like this part, man. Yeah, it's it beautiful. Is. Especially with the natural lining. Yeah. Also, all these flowers that are starting to blossom. Making their way inside. Yeah, they slowly but surely are. Wow. Nature is truly taking over. Beautiful, huh? It's always a beautiful perspective, man. In the last room, you can see they definitely want to keep intruders out of this place. And that's also the main reason, I think, it was so well preserved. Yeah, yeah, over yeah. Time. It was, I mean. This is actually a bathroom. Just a bathtub, bidet. A sink and a toilet. And again, of course, the Portuguese tiles. Yep. It's quite unique, actually, man. Yeah. But you look over here in the corner. Damn. That looks uh, honestly yeah. quite disgusting. Well, I think I'm just going to have a seat here. And uh, I think that pretty much sums it up for this place and concludes our explore. And honestly, this was incredible. Yeah, it was it was so funny to actually was, find the basement. Yeah, and I, I mean, during the day we did not see all the details, like all the old photos in one of the bedrooms, the basement. Like, we maybe saw like 40, 50 percent and the lights really let this place speak and live one more time. And I hope you enjoyed it, seeing through our tourist eye together with us. And if you did, you know the drill. As always, do not forget to smash a thumbs up on this video for another time travel. And of course, subscribe to the channel right down below. It's just completely free. And also leave a nice comment right down below as well. If you want to support us on our travels, there is a little link in the description to a Patreon page and a PayPal link. And if you support us, we can explore more over the world and give you more joy seeing places like this. In the end, Raymond and I want to thank you very much for tuning in again to another beautiful episode of the Portugal series 2023. And we will see you on the next one. Adios.